Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and healer. So I'm going to be doing a spread on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine for August 27th, 2024. The first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is Retreat. So Retreat, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is being advised to go within right now. This isn't a time of doing, but rather a time of contemplation. I feel as though the Divine Feminine needs to think long and hard about what she wants to manifest. I am seeing that she is being um, guided to manifest um, her heart's desire. I am seeing that the Divine Feminine has been on the fence for a while about it, believing that it might not be possible or perhaps she's reaching for the long gods. But I feel as though the Divine is reminding the Divine Feminine that nothing is impossible. Nothing can um, not be brought into being if um, she does not wish to realize it. So the attention is there. I feel as though the Divine is pushing the Divine Feminine to accept her own power right now because it is her limitations that are holding her back from achieving her dream life. With transmutation, I am seeing that the Divine Feminine is also releasing a lot of trauma related to um, not only past lives but also ancestral trauma. This is related to her authentic self. So as the Divine Feminine gets more attuned with her feminine energy, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is starting to care less about the process and more about um, becoming who she's meant to be. So she's not trying to control anything right now. She's just allowing the her old self to fall apart. She's allowing that um, new self to take root. And as she does that, she is purging a lot of um, grief, a lot of sorrow, sadness, shame, guilt, anything that she repressed because she felt like she couldn't um, conform to societal standards. But with acceptance, I am seeing that the Divine Feminine is working on healing that witch wound. So that good girl syndrome that she has been um, participating in, the Divine Feminine no longer wants of it. She doesn't want to play by the rules anymore. She doesn't want to um, conform to some impossible standard that is stressed upon um, women or men, depending on the um, gender divine feminine. She doesn't want to strive toward something that is not her. And I feel as though the divine feminine is kind of like accepting that, yeah, she doesn't fit in, but that's a good thing because she is here to create a brand new world. She's not here to like participate in a karmic cycles that are not serving her soul. So as the Divine Feminine accepts her power, she is breaking free of the mold. Freedom blocks are being cleared right now. And as the Divine Feminine accepts that she alone is the maker of her own destiny, she ends up um, release, I mean, releasing this um, burden. And this is what I get for Divine Feminine. So this is what I'm getting for Divine Masculine. The first card I'm getting for Divine Masculine is the Five of Pentacles. I'm fine, Pentacles. Five of um, Swords. But the Five of Swords, I am seeing that the Divine Masculine is struggling big time with um, a lot of like opposition um, when it comes to his ideals versus um, what he, um, his external reality. So I feel as though the Divine Masculine is being tugged one way and then tugged another. He doesn't know which is the right path. But I feel as if the divine is guiding the divine masculine to make the journey that is, I mean, the journey, um, the decision that is best suited for his overall growth. And I am seeing that this journey will require him to be pushed out of his comfort zone. I am seeing that the divine masculine is reluctant about what that might mean. He is trying very hard to remain open-minded. He is trying very hard to um, not control, but still his ego flares up. It tells him that he's playing the long odds and that he should actually manipulate and control. With the Three of Pentacles, he is releasing the separation consciousness that keeps him um, in the timeline of separation with his Divine Feminine. So as the Divine Masculine balances his anima energy, he starts to heal the rift between him his... Uh, his soul and his heart and as he does that he starts to see that before he was engaging in materialism he was engaging in superficiality and the divine master no wants no long, no part of that anymore he wants to be free he wants to be um himself 
and I feel as though the Divine Masculine is clearing all that is not of love so he can become who he's meant to be. And the last card I'm getting for Divine Masculine will be the Nine of Wands. So despite the opposition he is feeling today, the Divine Masculine is determined not to give up. Because he knows if he gives up, he will not be able to be with the Divine Feminine. So I am seeing that he is seeing at the end of the road, Union. This is what he really wants. And I feel as though as the Divine Masculine lets go of everything that um, is not of love, that is not of his highest and best good, he starts to jump timelines. And as he jumps timelines, he starts to have this renewed sense of faith, this renewed sense of um, hope. And even though he doesn't understand what's going on, he knows that what lies on the other side has to be better than what's in front of him. And this is what I get for Divine Masculine. If you haven't already, um, like and subscribe to, um, to this channel. I post updates about Twin Planes every day. I will see you another time. Namaste.